call today to talk to the public about the maternity services that we provide across the whole of Morecambe Bay. We're looking to really improve these services and we're looking for the public to help us. We want to know what the public think about what we've done so far, about our plans for the future and to, to consider how they might help us both in the design and the delivery of, of services in the future. I think what we've done is getting all this really valuable information um, and then we can take it back to the teams that work and feed them back the information that the women are giving to us so that we can put it into practice. We can build on the good stories that they give us and give them more of that and then actually we can do things to make, make things better where they've had issues with the care. The women that I've spoken to have spoken very highly of the services and the care that they've received. Um, and there are still some things that we know that we can do differently, so some things that we have addressed, actually some women aren't still seeing what we would want them to be experiencing, so we need to say, right, okay, well we've done this, but actually what we can do, what can we do further to make it even better? Um, so, uh, for example, one lady um, has had a very positive pregnancy but she's seen more than three midwives in her antenatal care and we absolutely need to address that because that's not what we want women to be experiencing. It's a wonderful opportunity for myself to meet with the mums who've come today and to hear their comments on maternity services because that's what we're all about trying to hear what people are saying so that we make the services absolutely fit around what the women and their families need and what they want. I just think it's good getting everybody's views and obviously every experience is different and obviously I've got a different experience to other people so some people might not have a good experience so they'll know how to improve it so I think it's just I think maybe not feeling alone as well and we're also looking at different ways that we can work and support the women that do get discharged within 46 hours after birth uh, because they're very anxious about things like breastfeeding bathing a baby especially first time mums i did start at home chase but got taken down to lancaster and was under consultant care with both of the girls and had brilliant care and then with daisy i had her at home um, a year and a half ago. The, all the midwives that came to the house were excellent and but all the help I wanted was there. The only thing with Pearl, my first one, when I got taken to Lancaster I had her at midnight and I was left alone in the delivery room for sort of four or five hours, um, which was a bit unnerving with your first child. If you can get health professionals in one place as well and they are there for you to listen and to improve or change things on the basis of what you say, it's, a, it's great. We've obviously recruited more midwives. We've um, instigated drop-in antenatal clinics of an evening on all three sites. Um, we're piloting um, what we call the Always Project, which is um, what would women and their partners and families always want to experience in our services? Um, and what they told us was that they wanted their partners to be able to stay for at least 24 hours. So we've implemented that as a pilot scheme at Barrow and that's going incredibly well. Yesterday we interviewed for two new posts that are new to Morecambe Bay but new nationally. Um, and they're leads for safer active births. And that's about supporting women in whichever birth choices that they would want, but us taking responsibility to ensure that we meet those wishes and those needs, but also keeping them safe at all times. They need feedback. And I think there's too much in the press that, so too much negative stuff. I think that the midwives and the people in the healthcare trust need somebody to come forward and say, no, actually, you are doing a good job and, you know, it is appreciated. Even though we've turned things around, we're not stopping and we're continuing to move forward and um, embrace change and engage with people so that we keep on staying afresh and outward looking to make sure that we don't, you know, we don't go back to where we were before. I think the future is very exciting for here yes. at Morecambe Bay. Um, a lot of groundwork has been done and now it's so exciting. We're moving on to really spreading out the doing pool births. We're hoping to introduce aromatherapy. We have hypnobirthing. All these new ways of delivery yes, babies definitely. are all part and parcel of the care that we offer at yeah. Morecambe Bay. I see us doing this every couple of months 
in a cyclical way really so that you know next one will be Barrow the one after that will be Lancaster and then we'll be back here in Kendal and and I think the um, the value of these events has been so phenomenal that we would be absolutely foolish not to continue them.